Saudi Arabia is an absolute monarchy. However, according to the basic law of Saudi Arabia adopted by royal decree in 1992, the king must comply with Sharia, Islamic law, and the Quran, while the Quran and the Sunnah, the traditions of Muhammad, are declared to be the country's constitution. No political parties or national elections are permitted. The Economist rates the Saudi government as the fifth most authoritarian government out of 167 rated in its 2012 Democracy Index, and Freedom House gives it its lowest not free rating, 7.0, 1 equals best, 7 equals worst, for 2013. In the absence of national elections and political parties, politics in Saudi Arabia takes place in two distinct arenas, within the royal family the Al Saud, and between the royal family and the rest of Saudi society. Outside of the Al Saud, participation in the political process is limited to a relatively small segment of the population and takes the form of the royal family consulting with the ulama, tribal sheikhs and members of important commercial families on major decisions. This process is not reported by the Saudi media. By custom, all males of full age have a right to petition the king directly through the traditional tribal meeting known as the Majlis. In many ways the approach to government differs little from the traditional system of tribal rule. Tribal identity remains strong and, outside of the royal family, political influence is frequently determined by tribal affiliation with tribal sheikhs maintaining a considerable degree of influence over local and national events. As mentioned earlier, in recent years there have been limited steps to widen political participation such as the establishment of the Consultative Council in the early 1990s and the National Dialogue Forum in 2003. The rule of the Al Saud faces political opposition from four sources, Sunni Islamist activism, liberal critics, the Shiite minority, particularly in the eastern province, and long-standing tribal and regionalist particularistic opponents, for example in the Hejaz. Of these, the Islamic activists have been the most prominent threat to the government and have in recent years perpetrated a number of violent or terrorist acts in the country. However, open protest against the government, even if peaceful, is not tolerated. Saudi Arabia is the only country in the world that bans women from driving. On the 25th of September 2011, Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah has announced that women will have the right to stand and vote in future local elections and join the Advisory Shura Council as full members.